everyone, coming to you from Krabi, finally. Sorry that I didn't update when we were on the bus or in the airport. We were just, we've nearly been traveling for a full day, so it's just been crazy. So I thought I'd update you quickly and say that we're here and our room is just, oh, it's unbelievable. I'll insert some clips so that you can have a look around, but it's honestly amazing. I genuinely feel like we're on holiday now. All the passport saga is over and we can just relax a little bit. So we're gonna head down to Riley Beach and then go to Ao Nang Beach later on and watch a fire show. So yeah, we're just gonna go and sunbathe for a bit and find some food. Yeah, I hope everybody is well. I just feel so much better. I genuinely feel like a weight's being lifted off my shoulders. So I will update you when we are at Riley Beach. We've already half tucked in, but we've got some food and a drink. And this is the view. If I'm looking a little shaky, it's because I've lost my tripod. That is the aim to find one. Yeah, we're just gonna head into the town quickly before we get the last boat back. Just come to the beach at my bay and if this if there was something to define paradise this would definitely be it good morning we went on a boat trip yesterday and we are severely burnt. Take this as a lesson from us. We just got caught up in everything that we were doing and didn't reapply and we should have done that. I didn't really get a chance to vlog much yesterday. I did as much as what I could but we were in a big group and just didn't want to film and make people feel uncomfortable so and I didn't have a tripod and I feel so much better now I've got one. Normal service has resumed so we are going to head to Kausok National Park now. So we don't actually know whether or not we have signal or Wi-Fi or anything like that in the National Park. We got in a taxi last night with the loveliest man and he was telling us that there's a coffee shop nearby that we have to walk to to get Wi-Fi I believe. We are going to text the parents and let them know just so that they don't think we've fallen off the face of the earth and yeah I'll, I'll be quite excited even if there isn't to be honest. It means you can fully immerse yourself in nature. So as we expected, we have no signal whatsoever. We're in a little hut with literally just a mattress and a pillow. I'll show you. <laughs> so this is what we're working with, guys. This full trip, I feel like, has tested all of my limits. 
but here we are we're still fine we're happy and healthy and we're experiencing amazing things so yeah i just can't believe where we are <laughs> we've just been swimming and to be fair the longer that we're here the more i'm actually appreciating it we're going for a walk at four we're just enjoying the view right now go up in the liana mate ah okay climbing up ah look <laughs> like a dinosaur Bingo. so this is dinner i'm not gonna lie that's a little bit skeptical of that one but I'm gonna just eat the rest. I didn't get to see the elephants yesterday, so we're heading on the boat this morning to try and see them. This is the current view. I'm so proud of myself that I did it, by the way. So sadly, we didn't see the elephants, unfortunately. However, we did see them, just not in the wild. We're just gonna have some breakfast and then head to, back to Kaosok to head to Kotal today, which we didn't realize was such a long journey. So, <sighs> this trip is not for the week. It's really not. It looks good though. Ellis is literally being eaten chicken pad thai the full time we've been here <laughs> and every time he's took a photo of it nice. so I'm gonna make him do a rate my plate have woken up in Koh Tao and it feels so good after the night at Kalsok National Park. As much as it was an amazing experience, it definitely tested my limits. So it was really nice to come to a hotel that is as nice as this. Our room is unreal, the view, everything is 10-10. We've just had some breakfast on the balcony. We're gonna head down to the pool shortly and we're just gonna have a relaxation day where we're gonna just sunbathe and relax because I feel like we definitely need it after the trip so far. It's been absolutely non-stop. So yeah, we've just had breakfast. We're gonna cream up and head down to the pool. I've just come into the shade for a little minute. It's just so nice to relax. How cute is this by the way? So the guide that we had on our Kalsok National Park experience made me a bracelet out of bamboo. He was honestly the sweetest. I'm gonna go and get a scooter purely because we wanna work to our own time scales and I just feel like it's a better and easier way to see things. You don't have to pay for like a full tour of something that you just want to go and see. I'm kind of excited. What do we think guys? Aesthetic? <laughs> I'm not sure. Hello everyone. So I've been a bit bad with the vlogging today, I can't lie. We're just waiting for the taxi waiting in the aircon because it's absolutely boiling outside but tomorrow I will be better at filming. <laughs> We're going to Koh Nang Yan which I'm really excited about because it looks beautiful. I've just posted my second YouTube video and I'm really happy with it, really happy with the support and it actually made me really emotional today because my sister sent me a photo of my nephew watching the video which <laughs> actually made me want to cry. My other sister and my dad were watching it on the TV and yeah, it was just, it was quite emotional. I'd, I had to stop for a minute. So yeah, I'm feeling really grateful and I can't wait to just go out and have a drink and let loose a little bit because we've literally not been out and, and 
drank really, have we? Not really. He's not a vlogger. He's not. He's, <laughs> he's just not a really. vlogger. So we've just got to 995 Jock in the hotel and it is a very prestige restaurant. People queue to get in here and we didn't actually queue for that long, but... <sighs> I've already decided what I'm having. I'm gonna get a duck ramen. Well, it's not a ramen, it's a duck noodle soup, should I say. Ellis is gonna get a chicken pad thai because he's absolutely obsessed with chicken pad thai. But I convinced him to get duck because it's literally called 995 duck for a reason. So, yeah, it's very hot tonight. I'm really sweaty, but we're making it work. And I can't wait to try this. So I'll let you know what I think. That food was like a natural lip bumper. My lips are stinging. That was probably the spiciest thing I've ever eaten. I don't know if I would recommend if you were coming in Kotao. I think that where we've eaten before that has been nicer and still pretty cheap. So, I mean, it's worth a visit. They gave me an actual duck's foot though, which I don't know why they thought I was going to eat that. It's a no for me. That is me. Mm. Guys, I love the backing music to this vlog. Gives me good vibes. Good morning, guys. Another day in Kotal Paradise. This is 100% my favourite island so far. It has been just what we needed to be quite honest. I'm so happy that we used yesterday as a relaxation day. It was like a reset, ready to go. Obviously, as you can see from last night's clips, <laughs> we were a little bit tipsy. How crazy is this, by the way? So the saying goes with where I'm from that no matter where you are in the world, you will always see someone from Barnsley. I am literally in Kotau, the opposite end of the world and a girl behind the bar that we went in last night was from Peniston. Then we got chatting to some other people that went to the uni of Leeds. For those who know me, it was for a very brief time, but I actually did go to the University of Leeds. I finished my first year, but I lived in Leeds for four months. I don't know who I was kidding. I don't know who I was kidding with that, but anyway. So we got chatting to them. They were from London area, but they went to the University of Leeds and yeah, I just could not believe it. So yeah, the food that we had last night, I think in any other circumstance would have been pretty questionable, but because we'd had a couple of drinks, it was the best thing ever. So today we are heading to Koh Nang Yan, which is only a 20 minute long tail boat from where we are. There's like a strip of sand in the middle with really blue water and it just looks gorgeous. So we're gonna go there, have a look around, go up to the viewpoint and see it from there as well because that's where it looks the most unreal. I actually rented a scooter yesterday as you saw. This island is literally, everywhere you go it's like 10 minutes. It's not far from anywhere at all. So tomorrow we're gonna go on the bike to Shark Bay, which is another thing that I wanted to tick off my list here. I want to see a couple of other things as well. So when we come back, we might have a, a drive around, maybe get some lunch. So yeah. And where we went yesterday, it was called um, Cactus, I think. And the food, the decor, everything, it was so nice. I would 100% recommend going there if you're coming to Koh Tao. I'm going to insert some clips from today's outing to Koh Nang Yan. And yeah, another day, another slip. 